Mr. Savage. Ja, what's up? Ja, Mr. Savage, en superstor och professionell gamer. Okej, okay, bakgrundsfakta. Han heter egentligen Martin Foss Andersen, är 19 år gammal, född i Norge och har miljontals prenumeranter. Och vi träffar honom på Dreamhack i Jönköping. How does it feel to compete in Fortnite? Well, I mean, it's a good feeling, especially when you're doing good. And I've been doing this for six years now, so I'm quite used to it. Do you think you will be doing it your whole life? No, no. I think when I when I get older, I'm not gonna be as good. Uh, no. You know, my reaction times are gonna slow down. When we Google your name, the first thing that comes up is your settings. Yeah, people just want to know my settings because yeah. they they want to copy it. You know, in my opinion, just go with your own settings. Are they a secret? No, there, there's no secret. Okay. Can you tell me one setting? I have my reload on my mouse. This is actually no not many people use it. My reload button is right here. So. How many people use that? How many hours a day do you play? Probably around six to eight hours a day on yeah. average. Does it ever feel like uh, because it's a job that it gets like uh, boring? Well, I mean, sometimes obviously I'm not having fun all the time, but like 99% of the time I'm enjoying the band. You need help. Like, how did you start uh, streaming? I actually started playing because one time I went downstairs and I saw my my brother was playing a game that I've never seen before. And I'm like, oh, can I try it? And he was like, no, go download it on your own PC. And I was like, bro, come on. So eventually I started getting better and better. And then my brother went like, yo, you're actually, you're actually kind of good. You should start streaming. Are you better than your brother is now? Yeah, I mean, now I'm better than my brother. He's, he doesn't play anymore, but... Uh, Before he was actually a lot better than me. My parents are extremely supportive. I'm so grateful for my parents. They've, like, since I started playing, they've always respected that that's what I wanted to do and that's what's been making me happy. It's a thing that we talk about a lot in Sweden, like how uh, grown-ups and parents uh, that they uh, argue with kids uh, over gaming and think maybe they are gaming too much. It's definitely important to have an agreement with your parents. Like, I think it's important you do your schoolwork first and then your parents should respect that you want to play games afterwards. I think that's fair for both both parts. You have a huge following and many young people look up to you and listen to you. You have like a lot of power. Do you like think you have a responsibility then? Well, I mean, I try not to be too too rude to people, of course. I try to be nice and you know, sometimes if I get eliminated, I might I might shout at someone, but you know, I won't go over the line, you know. I won't cross the line. Many kids today uh, maybe wants to want to become a streamer or professional gamer. Is this something that you recommend? Well, I mean, you definitely have to get very lucky to make it within streaming. Like, for example, I was getting homeschooled when I started playing Fortnite, and I was lucky that I managed to become good at the game. I definitely don't recommend going into streaming and like not focusing on school. Like, always put school first. It's not a guarantee at all that you'll that you'll make it within streaming.